Hi I am George from Max Automotive. Before we start don't forget to subscribe our channel. Let's talk about 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera T Fierce Drive Review. Indeed, even among enthusiasts, perplexity about the new Porsche 911 Carrera T continues to annoy. Let's cut right to its heart, it's got nothing to do with the underpowered stripper touring model from 1968, nor does it have anything to do with the 911 Turbo, though it has two turbos. Here's the thing, Porsche wanted to name it Club Sport after its spiritual forerunner, the 1987 911 Carrera 3.2 Club Sport, but BMW possesses the trademark on that name these days. He is what they had left. They say it stands for Turing, but just on the off chance that you utilize the autocrosser's definition of Turing. Edge it in the context of the limited edition 3.2 Club Sport, though, and it bodes well. Not at all like the first T, which was a base model with a significantly less intense motor, the new T takes after the Club Sport playbook to the letter. Less weight, sport suspension, manual transmission, mechanical limited slip differential, and no expansion in control. PDK and back steering are optional. The previous is demoralized. Its main goal is to be the best driving street 911, which requires its own explanation. Although all Porsches are track prepared by the organization, just GT models created by the motorsports division are considered track prepared. You can absolutely track the 911T, but what you truly ought to do is what we drove, the best parts of the Rai Monte Carlo route. On exceedingly limited mountain streets with ordinarily more bended miles than straight ones, you don't for a minute pine for the extra 50 horsepower of a Carrera S and certainly not the 130 extra strength of a GT3. I'm extra certain about that last part since we additionally had another GT3 Touring, otherwise known as Backwing Delete, close by, and it was as a general rule too much auto for the street. That's the beauty of the 911T. On your favorite byway, you can utilize every last trace of the auto. You can absolutely wail on it, consume the tires, and rebuff the brakes for all they're worth without automatically putting yourself and your auto at horrifying danger of mischief. Not too much or too little, the 911T has just the right amount of energy to feel like you're getting everything the auto can give you. As our favorite streets, and incidentally our test route, tend to be in the mountains, there's quite a bit to be said for the turbos on the latest Carreras. With their back motors, 911s put down power exceptionally well, and the low to mid-range torque the turbos manage the cost of you enables the 911T to jump off fastener corners even at high altitude. A shorter last drive ratio select to manual transmission T's makes the power drain much more responsive. 